Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Vagante. Let's random a couple of characters here just to make sure that it's sufficiently random. You know, I do like dog build. Let's do a dog run and we're going on hard mode. This might be my first time ever playing on hard mode. I don't remember. Let's do it anyways. I've got a club, 70 HP and a dog that I can just yeet at people. Sounds good to me. Now, what is the difference in hard mode compared to normal mode in Vagante? Well, one difference is that stone-tipped and fletched within Ozier's feathers. One difference is that, I don't know what bookworm is. Sorry, I'm talking here. Enemies will respawn. Anytime you uh, exit an area, you can kind of see it on the map, actually. It's happening right now. The area is starting to turn blue, which means that enemies could respawn in that location. I believe enemies will only respawn limited numbers of times, but that could be incorrect information. The other thing about hard mode is that enemies are harder. You take more damage, etc., etc. Uh, there's elite enemies. Bosses are harder. They have different attacks, stuff like that. So it's going to be very difficult. Share beneficial potions with your pet and make your club better. We're gonna get one level of club and then full pet bond, probably. I also don't know what bookworm is. What is bookworm? I feel like I, I want to know this, because <laughs> I never remember. Bookworm Vagante. Oh my god, I act, I've looked this up previously. All spells learned start at level two. That's actually really cool. But it looks like we have worse other stats, I think, due to your sickly nature. I mean, we have 70 HP, which is probably pretty good for now. So I actually think that maybe the, uh, our friend here with the dog might be very good for this because of the fact that the dog, so yeah, two levels of dash, why not? Yep. Uh, the dog might end up just being amazing for us because we can throw the dog into enemies and then the dog will handle some of the some of the combat that could be a very nice thing for us you dumb idiot <laughs> I'm not talking about me I'm talking about the dog um ultimately though I, I've thought about this a little bit I think that one of the big things going into uh, hard mode is that we need to make sure we don't backtrack nearly as much as I normally do like, we really do need to, uh... Well, that works. Can't make that jump. We, we really do need to make sure that we're not going backwards through areas, because you can, again, you can see it on the map. The top section of the map is now blue. That being in the top left corner of the screen, in case you didn't know that. Uh, that means enemies can start respawning there, so... We need to go fast. We need to not backtrack. We're not going to be doing runs where we constantly backtrack in order to pick up additional loot or things that we've left behind. We're going like, you go through the level once. Here's that Chuck the Dog run, says Architraz. I know you were waiting for a Chuck run. Now, I don't know how the bosses have changed. Heavy punches, not heavy throws. Uh, I very easily could, you know, die horribly. Hopefully the shopkeepers aren't, like, additional pissed or something. Sastus. Now, we have a club, and we're going to want to use the club. <sighs> I mean, let's freaking do it, right? If you're going to do it, let's do it. Bouncing fireballs. I mean, the dog was a freaking champ. <laughs> Is this the difficulty where your dog has permadeath? Hopefully that never happens. That would suck. Why do I feel like I have a hard time moving? Let's go. Do you have a hard time moving like against the waterfall or something? It's the elite enemy! What the heck? Okay, I've never seen an elite enemy before. Now I have. 
We got the key. Oh, good. We got a magic rod, which really sucks. Uh, I could try to, like, eat his eye. Get out of here. But we're just going to take the chicken and we're going to leave because now that we've gone through this area and now that we've left the area, enemies could have respawned here. So we do have to be a little bit careful. $37. We're not going to buy anything. We're just going to go. So that's, that's the whole level one. Yes. Good floor, though. That is one sturdy bat. He's the That was the elite enemy for the floor. They don't respawn. There's only one of them. We only heal for 10. Ugh. But that's okay. Upgrade the club. I have a chicken. At least I have chicken. Throw hard. Throw hard, um... Why not? I mean, we want to throw the dog, right? So it's a bad... Gloves, but we'll take it. And then a sack of loot. It could contain anything. You want to know what this reminds me of? This really does remind me of Terraria. And goddamn, does getting a sack of loot when you defeat a boss really make me think, man, I would really love to run around and build like a tower. But anyways, we get a sack of loot. What's in the sack of loot? Let's find out. Money and a ring. It's kind of hoping there would also be a potion. Like... Five to ten bucks, a potion, and an item. A, a quality item would be nice, but uh, sure, we got we got a ring. We got we got one ring. You know, could be worse. Could be much worse. I'll take it. We're not gonna fight light lightning enemies for quite some time, so I think we can probably just dump the gloves completely. Okay. Get out of here. You're coming with me, dog. We're not using any potions because as soon as we get one more level, we're going to upgrade pet bonds. We get beneficial pet potions. I also love that I look like Link and I have an absolutely adorable dog. Look, a fireball. That's a highly good spell to have. Our intelligence is not really that high. So unfortunately, our spells are not going to be that good. Magic stone, demonic familiar, luck, speed, defense. I'll take it. Good job, dog. Well, we know what boss we're going to be fighting. I, I believe throw hard does work on the dog. Now I don't know how the boss has changed. That that could be a little scary. I I guess that's probably what the boss did. He's like, Row. dog, come the heck here. Ow. He did 22 damage? And then he just like leaves the whole, did he, he went to the shop? I'm not really sure what to expect right now, but like I need the, the boss to come over here so I can fight him. He's a little, he's a little, having a hard time. It's okay, just like, he's fine. He seems a lot harder. Because it seems like you don't have nearly as much time to hit him. You know, previously when he would do like uh, eight, well, it's like three, five, and then eight, uh, Acid hits. He would have a little bit of an opening there to actually do some damage to him. Doesn't seem like there's too much of an opening now. We got him though. Just mainly just throwing the dog repeatedly and not actually engaging in the combat. Whatever works, right? Okay. So. 
You know what? Thank you. <laughs> My bloody familiar. You, uh, we can't really backtrack for you, so we do have to take you with us. At least momentarily. Dong's having a bit of a hard time. He, he made it back, though. Just trying to, trying to get through the level as, like, cleanly as possible. We haven't found the elite yet. And they, they scare me because they, they seem way harder <laughs> than what you would normally expect from enemies down here. I really don't want to get, you know, caught out, surprised, and then freaking killed, man. That wasn't my dog that died. I'm fine. He's fine. Potion of regen. Knowing what that is, is highly beneficial. There's my elite enemy. I need you to come here, dog. Beautiful. That was not that bad at all. Light feet. Light feet is fantastic. Can't afford it. Sucks to be me. Oh! <laughs> well, I do have two potions of regen, I guess. I just don't like the, even just the idea that the enemies respawn. Like, you kill them, they shouldn't come back. What the heck? Okay. I have one key. We need to use this key to exit. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're done. That was not too bad. This is the wrong exit. This is the right exit. Shopkeeper about to be collateral damage. I'm not killing the shopkeeper for a, a light feet boot right now. And we do not heal that much. I'm hoping that she increases the campfire heal by five still. She does, okay. We got two potions out of it. So you know what? The bags do give you a little bit of pseudo-random loot, which is nice. Now we have pet bond. Magic mapping. Now we can identify some potions. Bad potion, bad potion, useless potion. You love to see it. Throw hard, plus one cold resist. Cold resist seems very nice where we're going. Where we're going, we need cold resist. This is all garbage. This is unidentified. Okay. The Corrupted Temple. Is this what it's always called? You're fine. You're an okay dog. I don't remember if this is what this place was always called. Corrupted Temple. Did I really miss... Oh god, the jump, first of all. Uh, I really miss being able to... Uh... Oh, Jesus. I really missed something, and then I just fell, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Luckily, my dog can come back. Thank you. Dude, the dog is such a good weapon. AKA Chuck. Chuck is such a good weapon. Oh my god, throw hard. Ah, not ideal, not ideal. The enemies are gonna be summoning things. Because my dog is down there. It's okay. We're making it, we're making it through. That's gonna be an elite. I'm scared of him.
Good job, dog. Holy crap. He was incredibly tanky, but ultimately he wasn't that bad. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> and the club's doing some serious work. I like the fact that it has a little bit of an overswing. I do wish it was easier to pick up the pet, because sometimes he has a hard time coming to me. We gotta be careful, though, because enemies will respawn in this biome. I think, so. I mean, it's every biome. I gotta remind myself it's gonna be every biome, so the more we explore, the more we're gonna have to fight later. It's probably not worth it to, like, fiddle with your inventory at this point, like, we just gotta, we gotta go in and, we gotta get in and get out. Oh my god. I did not expect him to respawn, but he freaking did. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do this once. And then I'm gonna use a potion of regen. Let's up the dog. Spawn, respawn enemies don't drop anything, by the way. They don't drop any, uh... Coins or anything. I think I also remember reading that you can't lifesteal off of them, either. Holy crap! Get out of here! I can't... I can't leave! Okay, this, what the heck is this rotating garbage? I'm dead. I, I jumped, I wasn't thinking, I jumped into him and he exploded into Ice Blast, which is what always happens when you fight evil mage. I like the run though. I kind of want to just do it again with the same, same class because it's, you know, throw dog build, which is easy, which makes me think that it's going to be good for me. So let's do it. I think I need that ease because this is very difficult. Because I hate <laughs> the respawning enemies, the elites, and uh, I don't know how to dodge that boss's attack right now. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. Yoink. Come on, dog. Dog, I'm sorry, but like, there's nothing I can do about that. You're the one who's just tanking the hits. Do you see what I see up there? Is there, like, you see that? It's an elite <laughs> floor thing? That's a weird one. Alright. Just an elite floor enemy. Watch out. This guy might do, like, more summoning, it looks like. No, he, he definitely does more summoning. Ha! Ah. Normally he only summons once at the beginning of combat, so that, that makes sense for him to have more minions, even though I hate them. Book of Ice Ball. Level 2, right? We're still, uh... We're no background? Pet utility, pet offense, pet bond, club. This is not a random run. <laughs> this is just a pet run. You know? First of all, I didn't know that you couldn't just re redo a run. That seems like a bit of an oversight, doesn't it? You, you reset the defaults after the first attempt. Uh, I guess we could just go, you know, dog throw build now, since we're already here. 
part of me also does want to like restart, but that's probably what's the fun in that, you know? Abe rolled wretched. I rolled dog. I rolled good dog. Probably should not do this either, but uh, why not? Okay, apparently you can't even grab the corpses of the corpses of those enemies. Oh no, it's just because I had the dog on me. All right, leave. We're gonna be at 23 HP. That's not amazing, but upgrade club. I got a new. Cl I got a better club. This runs already a 10 out of 10. Look at this. Okay. Let's go. I do miss my throw hard gloves though. Doing 16 damage with a dog, that's pretty good. See, it's Dark Cavern. Was it, is this place, was it always Dark Cavern or is that just because of the whole hard mode thing? Later, rat corpse. Ow. I still hate those guys. So it's another. Uh... Oh, that didn't work. Oh, this guy bounces. I can't, I can't, help, I help you. Dog, cause I'm about to die myself. I got Coliseum clogs, triple jump plus one strength, sure. Um, probably try to find like identification. Well, I got poison resistance, which I guess is kind of okay, but only seven HP. Was I a little aggressive on, uh, you know, taking away 33 HP for one stat point? Maybe. But you gotta try. Please. Oh! It's okay, I got another scroll of identification out of it. Oh, but nothing, nothing to identify. Okay, not dead. Still not dead. Still not dead. Da -da -da -da. Still not dead. All right, uh, something tells me that's gonna be a dragon. And my dog has already started to fight it. Yep. <laughs> All right. One more time. Let's let's actually re-roll it. Re-roll the run, of course, which I had intended to do. There we go. Random, no background. We're a mage. We're a rogue. We're a rogue. Why re-roll it three times? Because I was really hoping to just get another dog and be like, okay, fine, we're on another dog run. I mean, I, I see you. I, I can't get down to... I... Grappling hook. I don't like the grappling hook at all. <laughs> Lower vitality. Um... I want to buy that, because if we buy that, we can identify what that is for the rest of the run. Okay, I just accidentally fell. Maybe do normal mode? Nah, this is fun! Trying to learn what all the different boss patterns are. It's like a whole new game! It's like a whole new game 
a whole new game, completely different from anything we've ever seen. A whole new experience. Would you look at that? Oh, apparently I can jump with their heads and do one damage. It's nice. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Now, do we have to play on hard mode? No. <laughs> but I'm a true epic gamer. I have to play on hard mode. It's in. It's called hard. It's in the game. It's in the game. Hard mode. It's in the game. Older protection minus one intelligence. Honestly. Hey, come here. No! He also, like, moves as he's firing his freaking fireballs, I think. Well, I got hit twice. Oh, and that one bounced backwards into me. That was very poorly played on my part. Magic missile. I don't know why I handled it that poorly. That was, uh... Just me kind of being dumb. Let's just really quickly... Get the chicken, get out of here, we'll be at a decent amount of health. Plunk. And we'll hopefully have an easier time attacking or defeating whatever enemy is next or whatever boss is next. I should have went back up for the shop though. Although, maybe you don't go back up to the shop. Maybe that's a little bit too much backtracking. Archery, Rod, Club, Shadow. Oh, I got a bow. Let's go archery. I'm not going to worry too much here about, oh, well, it's archery. You always go archery. Well, yes, because it's good. There's a reason for that. Ultimate badass would be, eh, just, God, just, uh, jump into the, the shrine. You don't even get a stat point out of it, but you'll probably get one later. I don't know if that's how it works, actually. I don't know if you can bank HP, come back to a, a later one and then get your HP or get your, uh, your stat points. I doubt. I certainly don't have very much st stats for Magic. Oh, God. Jesus. I'm dead. I'm just, I'm bouncing around. He, okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to, like, learn about some of these bosses. He summons an incredible amount of those jerks. Okay, real, you know what? No, no, no. Give me a dog. Give me a dog. Give me a dog. I want to be a dog man. He's a dog man. Not actually like with a bear on my head. I want a dog that I can throw at enemies. <laughs> I need easy mode. I, I need to I need to experience what the game has in store is what I need. Really is just weighted against the dog, I think. Doc Cavern 1. Wow, the dog didn't even set off the trap. Okay. Pet offense. Lunge. Incredible. Shadow? Maybe not. Fist weapon? We can do that. Acrobatics. Pet offensive is what we're definitely going to have uh, as soon as we can, though, because that's actually very good. The, the dog lunge is decent. 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 
I, I, I have to not take so much stupid damage though, but when the enemies are attacking my dog, it's a little hard to actually manage uh, when to attack. Yeah, we'll uh, just equip the sword for now. We need the dog to take the aggro and the hits, because the dog has infinite lives. I don't. Okay. We're going to try to play this. Oh, my God. What? A crazy creature. You can't even land on this thing's head. That's absurd. Sometimes the, I feel like some of the uh, contact damage is a little ridiculous. That's, that's rough. That's rough. We got it done, barely. I got a book of flame pillar out of that. You know, I thought it was just gonna be like equipment. Getting spell books and potions out of the uh, the elite bags, that's actually quite interesting. Because sometimes you do want to have more of those over the course of a run. And this is one way in which you can find more loot. I was ascetic. I wore equipment and broke my holy vow. <laughs> I didn't look at all. I didn't look at all. Give me a dog. Give me a dog. Give me a dog. Give me a dog. I'd probably take a mage, but I worry about mages running out of spells over the course of a floor. But I'll take a dog. Oh, freaking devil dog. I love it. Let's actually take a look and see what we're doing here. You're not the smartest tool in the shed, but you're the, but you're stronger than most. Strength, up, intelligence, down. Alchemy, very good. Rod, not so much. Fist weapon, not so much. Pet utility, your pet bounces when thrown. Because it's barking, 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 and your pet bounces, which is actually the good one. So, I don't know how I feel about this one. I think that the, the pet bark is virtually useless, but I'm probably underappreciating it. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't get crushed by spikes. That'd be too much to ask. Well, that actually went exceptionally well. I unfortunately have significant amounts of ah, fist weapons with this would be okay. Uh, of gloves and not much else. With the club, I can hit enemies in the head from above them, which is nice. Oh. Well, we got to go to the shopkeep, but let's let's clear this direction first. Like we can, so we can make the uh, the dog bounce when thrown. What we cannot do, I don't think, is actually make the dog do more damage when thrown because I don't think that's uh, a part of that upgrade path, unfortunately. That's okay. It's gonna go slow, but you know what, fine. I'll kill you myself, God damn it. I don't know what the, like, taunt indicator is on the enemies as well. Or dog indicator, I should say. Doesn't seem like a good flame pillar boss, let's be honest. There's the exit, though. I, I let... I let the enemy hit me on the head so I could save the chicken. It was all for you, chick. 
enemy just spawn? No, that enemy's been there. <laughs> nice. Thank you. You are already here. I guess it's like the enemies respawn, but it's the same enemies that were there previously, right? That was stupid. Careful. Yes, <laughs> the dog kill. Let's go, okay. You know, it didn't go too badly. The dog has killed and he will kill again. There was nothing that we could buy in the shop, nothing that we wanted, really. So we are, uh, we're out of here. Be very careful of all the enemies that respawn, but we are leaving! He did seven freaking damage! That was the end of the floor! Uh, we're only gonna heal three thanks to this chicken. Roasted chicken. All right. I have a dagger. Spirit emitter dexterity. It's probably better than the club since I don't actually have club as a perk on the tree. What I do have is Fist Weapon. But I don't have any Fist Weapons. The Ultimate Punch. I've never even seen the Ultimate Punch. We could do Rods as well. Rods are actually pretty strong with the Rod perk. But I think you gotta start with potions being identified. We don't have to save them for the pets. We can just drink them whenever. But not the Potion of, potion of Poison, of course. I'll save that one for when I'm about to fight the boss of this floor. We'll just use the Potion of Poison. Hello, shopkeep. I wish... you know? Sure. Really wish we had this on the last floor, but you know what? Give me a fire resistance. I'm coming! Actually, Spirit Emitter seems pretty good, actually. This is the, uh exit door, so if we want to fight the boss, we have to come back anyways. Those spirit emitters might end up being annoying if they, like, aggro a boss. I don't want them to aggro. It looks like that's exactly what's gonna happen, I feel. But also, it's this boss. It was very annoying, but... We'll, we'll work. We'll work him down. Yes! The strategy worked! Go ham! That's the strategy. Oh my god. I'm just realizing now, too. Like, when we later on fight, like, the abomination, I am gonna... I'm not gonna like that, am I? Strong? Multiple books of flame pillar. Gotta be honest with you. Not really what I had in mind. Give me magic missile. That's at least something. You know, we're gonna need something to knock out the enemies in the air in the next locale, so, you know, I'll, I'll take this. Uh, I think I already opened the door, but I'll save the key regardless, just because I am worried that I am going to mess it up somehow. Careful dog. Nothing here. We'll have a little bit to explore. If you don't have to fight him, don't fight him, right? Bum, bum. Hello. It's funny to me that oh god, that you can push against the block. <laughs> more more gloves. More gloves, everybody! I don't want to, I don't want to die, so I'm not going to go that way. I think the dog just took 40 damage. A little rude, if you ask me. 
Oh, I forgot the freaking rat corpse. Uh, you know what? We can't actually carry it. So I think we're just gonna have to leave. Still, this didn't go too poorly. I have a, not enough money for the ring, so we are out of here. I'm gonna grab this, gonna grab this. <laughs> gonna grab you, gonna grab you. We could have opened up the che chest. We should have opened up the chest. Opened up the chest, but I'll save the key for the future. Okay, rod, fist, pet utility. Well, I don't have a rod and I don't have a fist, so pet utility it is. Wall phasing, weapons reach vitality. Wall phasing could be pretty good though. We don't need this. We'll put it here in the dump pile. you there, we don't need this. Okay. I don't need to go fast here, it's just I feel like I want to go fast. And we have five casts of Magic Missile. Magic Missile is not gonna be a core component of this run anymore. Or rather, of my normal runs. Oh, this is a very, like, easy teleport. Careful dog. There you go. I'm gonna need you to help me to defeat this upcoming boss since I have apparently no idea how to do it. More strength, uh, I believe, does give us more damage on the throw. So we should definitely, and we will, try to level up strength when possible. One throw and one hit is enough to kill those guys. We, we can handle them. We haven't found the elite yet, though. Well, I guess summon something at the very beginning of the engagement with him and then also can summon more things. And his attacks come out faster, it seems. Yeah. I can't move! God damn it! Move! I... I, I, oh, thank God. I hate this place already. <laughs> it was a, a lucky teleport, I feel. That was, that was getting a little bit ridiculous. Like, if you can hit him, it's not a problem. Just like every other one of these damn mages, though, they don't want to get inside of your range. I, I, I can't hit you up there. You've got to come down. You're, I think you're going to kill my dog. No, dog! <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, I hated that. I did get a bow out of it though, which is actually quite nice. No, 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 no! Don't, don't fight him! Don't fight him! We don't need to fight him! Don't need to fight him! Okay, we got a bow at least. Potion of quickness. Don't need it. Potion of poison. Go ahead and just apply it right now, so I don't forget. Suddenly increases weapon reach. No, I don't want to do that. You get. Tossed, you're a key, and you guys are just a bunch of scrolls that I don't have anything to do with quite yet. You know what? Awesome. Magic missile. I mean, if you're gonna have magic missiles, eloquence, I will also definitely upgrade or definitely just use because. I see the problem. I teleported my dog. How do, you, how do you call your dog? There we go. There's Kytus. Ring of Sight. Wow! What a what a long distance shot. Who the hell did that? You absolute asshole. 
get out of here. Too many enemies spawn, man. All right, I want to fight the boss because I want to get the, the level up in the key. So you really just have to run from those. It's very strange though, because running from these just means you're fighting more enemies because all the enemies just respawn. And everything he does just freezes you in place. <laughs> Connie, welcome, how's it going? You're gonna fall asleep to this. Fall asleep to my misery of hard mode Vagante, which is real hard. Feels like you do need to have like a, a solid ranged capability here because these enemies are very, very difficult. Although I guess, okay, so here's how you could dodge that. Let yourself get surrounded, and then when they stop moving, you can move out of the ring, and then they don't follow you anymore. But then while you're fighting this guy, you're constantly getting, uh, not overwhelmed, but you're going to have those mages continuously respawn around you. Damn evil mage. Still want another dog run, because, I mean... Come on. Thank you. One more and then we'll we'll do an actual random instead of a dog random. Farsighted. I kind of could tell as soon as we, we loaded in that that's what it was, but that's actually like pretty decent. Just being able to see a little bit more. Handy. You're okay, dog. Just a little damage, you're still good. Wand of digging, glass blade. Hate to say it, but those don't particularly interest me. The axe doesn't really particularly interest me either, but like, you know, for now. You, I, I still don't quite understand. The, the optimal strategy for dealing with, because you are so... Oh, no. You're so fast. Oh, my God. Why is the dog not teleporting to me? I'm going to have to res my dog. It's the thing. I am, I am just, like, tanking the damage at this point. <laughs> Dude, the axe actually sucks. That was part of my little frustration there, is just because I was using this axe and it's like, what the heck? Why am I using this axe if it's that bad? Black Relic. Keeper of Familiars. That's actually exceptionally handy, combined with the fact that it's got good stats. And combined with the fact that I can grab this chicken. I really want to see what that golden eyeball does, but I've got to get the chicken first, right? Freezing plus two decks. Yeah, that's a little bit more interesting. Book of Magic Missile. Always nice to have. Now, what is our levels? Shadow, Wand, Sword, Pet Bond. Beneficial Potions. Sword lets you slide. And you can do, like, the Bouncing Attack. Quick Draw. Spin Attack. Haven't really used those too often, but definitely possible. I suppose we will do... Pet bond first, just so that we can drink potions when they show up. I mean, I, I know I have potions right now, I just don't know what they do. God, it's 
so nice being able to see more. <laughs> Flame Pillar. Maybe I'm undervaluing. I probably am, but... What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Scroll of Magic Mapping. To be able to identify and have it, I will take it. I mean, you know, that's not what I meant to do. So it really is just this the whole time, huh? Actually, it isn't. Okay. So the boss will still do the, uh, the poison shot. Just also seems to really want to do the, uh, the tunneling moves and then the, uh, the, the grab away move. Give it a second. That was that was my bad. I thought I could maybe react a little bit faster. Does not seem to be the case. That hit. My god, this guy is a lot harder. I mean I think I should just let the dog do it, right? He's dead. Like, that's the attack that I really want to bait out more often. I just don't know how to bait out that specific attack, because the poison attack is where you get your largest opening there. That was rough. Fire wand, though. It does make me feel like maybe we could use the Fire Wand. You landed on my head. Against the uh, evil mage, maybe. I mean, he is made of ice. So using fire against him does seem like a pretty good call in theory. I will, you know, you're, you're not doing much damage to my dog, so, you know, go ahead. Something tells me I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna be using those shrines too often lately. At least the slime enemy is, like, pretty easy to take out. Although I still haven't seen what, like, an elite bandit looks like. Maybe I'd rather not. Okay. Is this floor one? No, this is floor two? This is floor two. So we can't use the key. That's okay. Oh, good place for the fairy to be, too. Just nice and easy to, uh bring to the exit, you know? That should have hit me. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't. Come on down. You're gonna give me money. Fairy, grab you. Leave. Good. That felt pretty decent. We did get a couple of scroll... Or we, get a, we got a couple of books. What did we get from this floor? I think we got Flame Pillar from this floor? I don't know. Who knows? Vagabond cap. Luck and fire resist. Sure. I should also use my, like, buffs when I'm in there, too. Copper okay. sword, knockback minus one luck. It's gonna keep with the dagger for now. Always a toss-up in video games as to whether fire will be good against ice says Seagus Jr. Like, fire melts ice, but ice puts out fire, so what's good against what? You're not wrong. 
there's always a uh, a logic to it if you follow the you know game logic, which never actually makes any sense. Recharge. Identify. Lower vitality. Ugh. Potion of magic. Enchant. Well, we found all the good scrolls, I think. Might just use magic mapping since we have three of them already. Oh, hold on. Or that increases your pet stats. You know what? Do it. Give me a magic mapping. <gasps> you know, sure. Wait, was that the first level? <laughs> it was, what? Well, that was the second level. I went through the wrong damn door. That's okay, you know, we'll, we'll just do the main path. Let's just get to the forest and we'll go from there, okay? Oh, just one, <laughs> one little, uh, one little error. That's the bandit. He does a triple attack. You know, that's not that bad, actually. Flame aura, luck and fire resist. Go for luck and fire resist. Potion of defense. Not stats, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not too bad. He just he just hits a bunch, and that's that's something you can work around. There's a spacer rod. Are we a rod build? No, wand build. You come y'all. Don't forget we've got that pet aura. I mean, I guess you want your pet to be around you at all times anyways, right? Give me some... Oh! Well... <laughs> ah, it wasn't me! You're not mad at me, right? I just want to buy a book. See hidden enemies? We're not going to be able to afford it. I could rob the shopkeep. I mean, with the dog, I feel like you've got to rob the shopkeep, right? Oh my god, I didn't see it. I mean, that's just what you're supposed to do. Also, being able to see enemies uh, that respawn would be fantastic. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, shopkeep. Sorry to have to do this to you. And by that I mean, oh my god, you almost killed my dog. But I need I need this equipment. What was the other thing we picked up there? I don't remember. That's okay. It was probably the book, now that I think about it. Fence and magic. You know, just use it all. We, this is gonna be a hard fight. This guy tends to be difficult. And our, uh, dog is very wounded. Can you come up here? Oh, there goes my dog. I'm gonna have to... Gonna have to bring him back to life. Not onto the spikes. Not onto the spikes! <laughs> Alright, random run. 
I'm having fun with this. I actually am. Don't think that I'm not having fun with this because this is an interesting, uh, you know, up in difficulty. We're caught stealing something. Now you have a price on your head. Ooh. Probably all the shopkeepers are angry, huh? Spellcaster. Club, Dagger Shadow. So we get to pick either clubs or daggers. Careful, careful. I got one of them. Starting to learn as well how to like counter some of these enemies like Bouncing Boy. You just uh, wait for him to stop bouncing, easy. You know, dog, dog got us through a lot. Now we're on our own. Thank you, dog. There's nothing here. There's no loot. Thank you. So now we're on our own. Hard mode, the hard way. No dogs, no dogs allowed. Really, the hard part about this right now is just the fact that our r hand range is so bloody small. Oh, right, and you, no! Okay. You know, as long as spikes kill him, I guess he's not that bad on the first floor, huh? <laughs> this solves our uh, loot problem. What do we have? Burning dagger. Sounds great. I know we could have taken the other one, but... And I know this one's cursed, but that doesn't really matter too much, does it? I just needed an item. What a shot! He hit me after he had jumped. Okay. Gonna be a little respawning, not too much. Okay. Hello? I'm always hoping that it's gonna be like... Some additional loot. That's a ring. The incomplete ring. Reflects projectiles, fire resistance. Okay, this might be, like, a great run. Reflect projectiles, fire resistance. Now, the, the burning on our dagger is probably not going to do too much. That He does burn, which is very interesting. we go that was not too bad at all and we can get loot right by the exit okay maybe the dog was holding me back I'm sorry Chuck but maybe it's true maybe I just needed to kill some shopkeepers was those damn shopkeepers getting in the way again shimmering bird mask more fire resist, dexterity, speed. I've got the wrong kind of resistances, but I'll take it. Just thinking, just thinking, just thinking, making sure we're done with the floor. Now we need to make sure that we grab the key on the next floor, not go through the wrong exit like I did last time. Foul smelling glass blade. I don't mind that it's foul smelling. It seems pretty good to me. Oh, we have the stolen ring. That's what this build is. Okay. I, I mean, I don't mind that at all. I like the stolen ring. 10% crit chance. Why not? We have a dagger. We could go full dagger build. You know, why not? Uh-oh, stinky dagger. <laughs> Where has it been? I think... We'll go up first. This seems like the wrong direction. Crit for 
20 already is pretty good. Yeah, I like this already. Especially with that great crit chance right now. Oh, I don't know what killed you. Was it Stinky? Something killed that guy. Oh, it's the Elite Bandit. I got hit once, but that wasn't too bad. I didn't realize he could turn around like he did. I mean, I gotta, I gotta admit, actually, I think a just straight up being a wildling would be kind of nice. Is that a pork chop? No, it's just one hidden block. Rip. Um, I hope there's spikes around somewhere. You gonna come up here? He's coming. No, he's trying to come up here. You gotta, you gotta actually come up here. Thank you. And then you go over here. And then you do this. And then you die. And then all is right in the world. What? I'm gonna have to go over here and explore this area if I want to actually, like, you know, look at everything. Because there is apparent. Didn't think he would respawn there. Um, there's apparently stuff here that we can access. And it's definitely worth it if we're gonna get a book. Book of Dash is good enough. No, that must just be like the freeze aura I have. Oh, this is the actual exit. That's really annoying. Well, we know it's Worm Boss. Where is Worm Boss? I have to itch my eye. Luckily, there is a pause. It's not start, it's select. I mean, are you gonna, you gonna come down here? gonna hang out by the wall because I do need to go back up there myself because I gotta go get the fairy I gotta go explore for more loot <laughs> like he just kind of like goes in a circle for a little bit and then buggers off Hey, now he went down. Okay. Tried to hit him. I think I think he was going to try to do the poison ball attack right there. Maybe I need to actually make sure I'm in line of sight a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's worth a lot. So we need we need to make sure that we're in line of sight so that he can do the poison ball attack when possible. Ooh, not that one. Which me so I'm getting his pattern more. He can he can do the lunge from off screen. But if you can keep him on screen, then you can get him to do that lunge. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we're learning. Got to, got to admit, also, I'm very happy that like no enemies seem to respawn during that. Or at least they were not close enough to me that they were interfering. Ugh. That went very well. Hello, fairy. 
I will come back to you in a second. There's still a little bit more exploration I want to do. Okay, that was weird. It really does feel like... The enemies that respawn are the exact same enemies that were there originally, but I know that's not the case. Scroll of Uncurse, Scroll of Jump. Night Gauntlets. Throw hard. Minus one defense. Sorry, plus one defense, minus one vitality. I think we can hold those for now. Throw hard, plus one intelligence. Mm. Our intelligence is currently our best stat, so... What I'm currently lacking the most of is, uh... Really just ranged. I have no arrows, no bow. Only one spell that has limited charges. This enemy definitely respawned multiple times, so there probably is not a limit to how many times they can respawn. As such, we're gonna get the heck out of here. Although this is the hard part, because right now, they're respawning behind me, and I gotta get out of here. Okay, this, this has actually gone surprisingly well. I think I just, I rely on the dog and without having the right synergies for the dog, I should, should do more for myself. Throne daggers. That actually could be kind of handy here. Upgrading spells is also pretty nice, but I think we need more intelligence to have raw damage as opposed to lower cooldowns. Sashimi, lol. Yes, we have sashimi. <laughs> Serve with soy sauce. I think it gives you like... Underwater breathing? I think it gives you underwater breathing. Our crit is very high, 20%. That's nice. That's nice. still have this sword, even though it is cursed. It's still good. Burning, and I'm stronger and smarter. Tosses fish into fire, gets raw fish. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a very good fire. We already have dash, don't we? Might not need to worry. Oh, I gotta get you. I gotta kill you before you summon him. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, if we already have dash, I don't really think we need another dash. I like that we have finally, not finally, but we've got a decent spell to use here. Magic Missile is actually pretty good at taking out these guys. Stopping them from casting their magic. I was very lucky that we managed to get that to work. Boulder Protection or yeah, Freezing Aura, sure. Might be able to re-roll the book into something else is what I'm really hoping for. Summon the boss. Don't, don't get inside of his ring. Right, we are out of berserk state, unfortunately. Okay. There's the, the ring of bull. Loney. How 
How did, like, where's the opening to get in there and do damage to this guy? <laughs> Jesus. I, I must have Reflect, yeah. I mean, that's very good to have. That's bad. That's so bad. Well, it's actually not that bad. Okay. Well, that went in the wrong direction. It's fine. Just gotta find the right moment to fall out. There's a bat there, unfortunately. He he's not gonna come after me though. You We are berserk, so if I can if I can get in there next time he teleports. Is not the right time to do that, I'm thinking. Ooh. Oh no, it's it's all going badly. Everything goes so badly so quickly here. Oof. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then everything just respawns, and now that I'm running through everything, I'm just like, just kill me. There's so many enemies to deal with. No! Stop being frozen! <laughs> Stop teleporting away, you mother trucker! I just I just can't figure out when the opening is, because the openings that you would normally find in the in the normal version of this fight, which is already very difficult to actually exploit, this one he has no vulnerabilities. His only vulnerability is like when he summons the the hexagonal ice shards at you. Uh but then even when you get in there, he just still teleports away as soon as you hit him once. So like I hate hate this evil mage. <laughs> hmm. Got a mage build ourselves. I was very happy with the uh the wildling, I gotta admit. Let's roll uh let's roll knight. Well, right not knight. Let's roll illiterate. Which I am not going to do. Because it's not good. <laughs> Instead of getting spells, you get five bombs, which is not even nearly good enough to warrant the uh, loss of power you get from not having any spells. Bookworm. A bookworm mage with ten intelligence. You know? There's no rods, but we do have very good magical spells, so... Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Good luck. Let's try this one out. Oh, it was a really good run too. Really, really good, strong start, I think. <laughs> this one, eh, could use a couple of points in strength. Although I think. I get, that's just a normal indication that I'm doing it wrong. Oh my freaking god. You know what? There you go. Got some poison resistance out of that. Wait, we have alchemy, isn't it? Like, we would we would know exactly what, what the sp um, potions would do in a second, so that was incredibly dumb. I can't even... This is not how I want to play the game, I think. You know what? Let me, uh... I like Bookworm, though. I like Bookworm, though. And I like having a Fire Wand. I just need to find, like, a weapon. And press Y more. And then also, you know, hold the rod. 
because that's kind of like how it's supposed to work. Okay, yeah, just don't actually cast the rod I wanted you to cast. Fan fantastic. Oh good, it's the elite! That's not good. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see the enemy respawn behind me, but that's kind of the whole point of hard mode, isn't it? It's hard, and also, the enemies love respawning behind you. Okay. Crack the neck. You know what? Let's, uh, let's create a run instead of doing it random. Rogue, Mage, Knight, Wildling, Houndmaster. Give me a Houndmaster and four perk heavy throws. We are going to be yeeting our dog with extreme prejudice. Actually, I want to be... I want to... I want to... be a little bit brighter and be a little bit more easy to see. Needs more bows. Needs more throws is really how it should work. Yeah, I think, um, I think I shouldn't be doing random on this. At least not until I'm a little bit more understanding of what the hell hard mode has in store, because Jesus. So yeah, let's actually, you know, have all of the good pet statistics, you know? That's not what I meant to pet. But he's back! You know, let's, uh, let's do this side later. Does it increase dog throw damage? I think it does, because when I had the uh, gloves that was throw harder, that was increasing the dog throw damage. So I do believe that throw harder will increase the dog throw damage. At the very least, it makes the dog, you know, makes you throw him harder. Help me! There you go. Oh, he hit me again. Really, I just, I need to have the dog in my hands more often. It's actually kind of hard to do. The dog doesn't want to be in your hands a lot of the times. If only there was a kind of hard mode. I, I think that hard mode would be fine if, if, if the enemies didn't respawn. I think that's the thing that, um makes me not excited about actually trying uh, significant with significant effort to try to beat hard mode because with the enemies respawning it's so annoying oh my dog's dead Luckily, he'll come back. Modular, dif modular difficulty like Hades. Well, maybe, but then I would also feel somewhat obligated to actually try all the difficulties. I understand the desire for uh, enemies to respawn, because if the enemies respawn, you can't just kite bosses around, but some of the bosses kind of need you to kite them around, and then if you're a melee character and you have summoners in the air trying to like constantly resummon uh, lunging dogs that are not your dog, that's a little rough. It's a little rough to deal with. I mean, definitely the potion of strength. And we will save this until we 
upgrade our dog. To start with though, this was not a bad floor. This was pretty okay. I didn't actually mean to lure another enemy down here to fight, unfortunately. And especially the fact that the respawn enemies don't give you anything. There's no reason to respawn them, but you're going to be respawning them if you're uh, running around exploring anyways. Poor dog. Okay, we're done. We went to the shop. We got a potion. But right now, that is, that is way better than a club. Dun, 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 dun. Cross amulet, cling to life, minus one strength. You know, the cling to life is not great. Minus one strength is not great, but we can probably survive with that. Or we could um, deal with that for a little while. We'll do the uh, beneficial potions first. That way we can counteract the minus one strength with potion of strength. And our dog is stronger, too. We also started with more strength. What Cling to Life is, is this is death protection, but instead of bringing you back at 50% health, it's um, one health. So not a very... Oh, God. That was the elite. And I killed him without knowing what he was. I don't know what he would have done. I don't want to know what he would have done. That was scary. We'll probably go Pet Lunge and Pet Toss. I don't really know which is which, but I would very much like to be able to yeet my dog. This is going fine. He's dead. He died to the poison damage. Beautiful. That was very easy. We got a compass. I can't equip it. We're gonna have to find some scrolls of uncurse first, but that was uh, that was exceptionally good. I'm sorry, dog. He's dog's just gonna have to kill him on his own. I've got the I've got the fairy. You know, let me put the fairy in the hole. Put the fairy in the hole. Put the fairy in the hole. <laughs> no, 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 don't go, don't go all the way down there. Come here, dog. I need you for something. He's a good boy. You gotta admit. I'm very sorry for you being there, lady, but you, you'll be fine. go. Scholar, Book of Shockwave. I don't have a spell, so I'm going to just grab the Book of Shockwave. Oh! Dog hit her! Dang it, dog! Good one, dog. That one needed to happen. Kind of looks like there's a bit of a secret area over there, but I don't think there is. She's still uh, not exactly 100% happy. She'll live. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. There's probably something over there that's going to want a piece of me. the door and on the floor we'll grab that on the way out because we are almost done I think book of dash it is helpful you know I think I just need to, to slow it down a bit we're doing very well here kingly flail Coins seem to heal injuries. Oh, baby. 
The real question, of course, is are we gonna actually uh, kill a shopkeeper? We don't have lunge on our dog, but we can get lunge on our dog within like two levels, and then we'd have just a great way of killing the shopkeepers, getting free loot, because coins healing injuries is freaking wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy... I'm not, I'm not gonna buy anything, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill this mother trucker. We're gonna do it with a dog. And a spell book. It's a spell book, man. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna have to work on methods of killing him later, but I wanted all of this. Coins heal. Fire wand. Probably dump the club at this point. We should leave because enemies are going to be respawning. Although there is a, um... Nah, we don't have that much equipment. Thank you. Damn it, dog! Keeps I keep throwing him into the ferry, but he keeps hitting the ferry. Now whose actual fault is this? Do you blame me? I hope not. Eh, she's happy. She made it. Okay, we want lunge. It's huge. Huge, I say, huge! Damage to gold. Now, if damage to gold actually does make it so that by hitting enemies we create money, we might want to have that for a while, but I don't I don't think I want to fiddle with that when I have a better weapon already here. <laughs> I always get magic mapping when I'm checking, damn it. Ugh. Got these other scrolls, I want to figure out what they do. Teleport. Oh, wow, fantastic. Identify? Recharge. Identify? Potion of Int. That'll affect the dog, so sure. Okay. <laughs> I misclicked. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, one of my three shockwaves. Whatever. Come here. Okay, so we're not doing anything up there. That's a dead end. Oh, wouldn't be so bad if the enemies here weren't, weren't just so annoying to kill. Because they always try to run away from you and just summon big dogs. You did good, dog. You tried. Why is he barking? I mean, I know that the dog can bark, but... Can you pet the dog? No, but you can throw the dog violently, violently at enemies and eventually upgrade the dog so that it bounces. I took that one for you, dog. Yeah, I have zero elemental resistances. That's rough. I, can't, I just can't hit the enemies, damn it. I healed one, though. Oh, my God. And then you freaking respawn. Dog, stop running away from me. I need to grab you and throw you. Oh, no. Dude, dog, please stop aggroing everything in the game. <laughs> please stop running down there and getting yourself killed. And also summoning every enemy who 
who summon enemies. That's gonna hurt me. Please. This is not a very good <laughs> dungeon for the dog. It's not a good dog -gen. I don't have any keys, so we're just gonna try to fight the boss and get the heck out of here as quickly as possible. There's freaking multiple of these jerks right now. Oh, good lord. <laughs> My dog is almost dead. Before we do this, you know what? It's the, the, the real problem with this is that the, oh my god, it's the super enemy. He's dead. Uh, real problem with this is that the enemies want to aggro on the dog. Which really just makes it a little hard for me because I, uh, want the enemies to aggro onto me so that they actually approach me and then I can kind of like, no, 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 no engage them the way I want to engage them. Could you fly higher? This enemy in particular is just, oh my god. You make these like freaking ice platforms I can't interact with at all. Are you happy? Are you happy with yourself? Stop making so many, like, ice blocks. Okay. It's a lot of potions, I will admit, but uh, still no scrolls of identification. Let's use a magic mapping. We should have probably done it earlier. the dog. We need to do this quickly before these enemies start. Ah, they're already respawning on the left. Yep. Dog, I need you to please come over here faster. What also sucks is, oh my god, is the slow dog movement. Like, you, you whistle for him to come over to you and he he just takes his sweet ass time. That was that was wrong. That was wrong. That's not the the time to get in there, is it? I I, I think I just gotta run. I think I just gotta get out of the level as quickly as I can. I think I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> A dog died again, by the way. Okay, um, if we were going to leave, the door is right here. <laughs> well, we made it. We got the rune. I guess you don't, you know, you don't have to kill the enemies. I just want to kill them. Didn't level up, which is also unfortunate. But we got to figure out, like, what the other, uh, biomes have in store. Like, what the heck is gonna happen with the kind... What the heck is this? That's gotta be the elite. Like, what's gonna happen with the chimera? It, maybe if you don't kill it, you don't get any loot. You know, it already fires uh, fire and poison. How could that get any worse? I am poisoned. Speaking of poison... Well, let's eat the rat on a stick and hope for the best.
You know, I'll just use it. Just book a dash, why not? Didn't know you could actually throw things at the enemies. Makes sense. Scroll of identification! Motion of region! Okay. Now that I've identified one potion. I don't want to roll the dice on the potions because if I start doing that, we might get debuffs and then the potion potions will affect the dog. Oh my god. Uh, I'm dead. What the ever-loving hell is this? What? You asshole. I've got to fight this freaking horrible enemy. Oh, God. Pick up the dog. No, dog, come here. Come here. So those things also light you on fire? Did I not have cling to life? Oh, it probably was already used. No, it didn't. Did it not work? I thought cling to life would uh, revive you at one HP. It didn't do anything. I guess the cursed version doesn't do that. I thought it did. Okay, so the electrocution or the lightning also burns you. Good freaking lord. That's tough. Hard mode, you know, Adding extra abilities to the enemies, it's going to take a little bit of time to actually learn their patterns. But the true frustrating thing is all of the enemies respawning, because that means that in certain situations where you need distance, especially on that um, that evil mage, you can't really get distance on him, or you're going to have a whole bunch of enemies coming in from behind you that you then have to kill again. So you, And they are uh, hard to kill with melee, so you would like to have some sort of ranged or mage build for that, but, you know... The, unless you have a boomerang, arrows are limited use, mage spells are limited use, so... There's a lot more pressure on your resources, and uh, especially if you're melee, there's a lot more pressure on uh, on you and your positioning, which is very hard to figure out. I still don't know how to actually fight that evil mage, because it didn't look like there were any openings, but there's probably something. Maybe it's just, you know, make your own openings with a bow or a spell, but I kept trying to fight him melee. Well, I kept trying to fight him with a dog, but the dog takes a little while to reset. The whistle doesn't quite work as fast as you would like. Anyway, fun runs. Uh, hard mode is hard. That's, that's the takeaway from this.